Now, a powerful winter storm is barreling through several Midwestern states. More than 10 million people and more than a dozen states are under some level of winter weather alert. Some areas are expecting strong wind and gust and several feet of snow. It's going to be powder town up here. We've got a lot of snow coming through. I mean, we've seen reports anywhere from 24 inches over 36 inches. It's going to be a big one. Of course, we have Storm Tracker meteorologist Garson Meredith keeping an eye on that system, which will have an effect here in North Alabama. We are not going to see snow, Carson. No but we will be seeing some rain. Yeah, this is a one two system, if you will, Megan, the first of which you just saw all that snow in the northern part of the US now moving into the Dakotas, western Nebraska, moving out of Denver this morning. But the second component is the one that we will have to deal with tomorrow, and that is heavy rain right along a very powerful cold front. In fact, you see this morning all those red boxes just to the west of Dallas. Those are indeed tornado warnings in the Metroplex. No severe weather concerns here in North Alabama tomorrow, and it's all quiet this morning. We're dry on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. We are going to stay mostly dry during the day today. It will be gloomy. You see on the way 31 sky cam network, a good bit of cloud cover, perhaps a few peaks of sunshine, very similar to what we saw yesterday, but we'll still see more clouds and sunshine all day. Temperatures heading out the door in the low 50s. You need those jackets for sure. High temperatures in the upper 50s, close to 60 this afternoon. I mentioned mostly dry today because there is a small chance, just 10% for one or two passing light showers through the afternoon and evening. Let's talk about your road impacts for the next couple of days. Completely dry this morning. No weather issues for your morning commute. Stray shower through the afternoon. That's it. Late tonight, we're talking closer to midnight. That heavy rain will start to move in. And once that heavy rain arrives, it will stay with us all day long tomorrow. The morning commute's going to be a mess. Not only are we tracking heavy rain, we're tracking gusty winds around 25, 30 miles per hour today. We could see those gusts get closer to 40 miles per hour tomorrow, and we'll also have the chance for a few embedded thunderstorms. But I mentioned our main concern is heavy rain. You notice our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. North Alabama is not under a severe weather risk of any kind. That is confined to the southern half of Alabama, southern Mississippi, down towards New Orleans, where a level three risk is in effect. Keep that in mind for heading towards the coast. But again, here at home, no severe weather concerns for the time being. Here's future radar 10 o'clock this morning. You see a couple of light showers around. Not a big deal. We'll stay dry through the afternoon for the most part, but by midnight tonight, here comes that heavy rain moving into the shoals and it overspreads all of North Alabama during the morning drive tomorrow. We may get a small break in that rain by noon on Wednesday, but if we do get that break, it will be short lived. Another round of heavy rain moves in by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Then by seven tomorrow evening, we'll have to watch this narrow line of thunderstorms directly along the cold front. That's where we have the best chance to maybe see some gusty winds with thunderstorms around 40 to 50 miles per hour. Not expecting anything severe, but we'll still keep a close eye on that last line of storms as it moves through the metro by eight or nine o'clock tomorrow night. And then eventually this front moves out by midnight tomorrow night and that rain will quickly come to an end. But just tomorrow alone, we are going to see two to three inches of rain across all of North Alabama. And those of you that see those heavier thunderstorms could easily see those rainfall amounts go over three inches, maybe closer to four inches in a couple of spots throughout the day tomorrow. So it's going to be a messy day. Go ahead and download that Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. You get access to all three of our radars real time wherever you are. You notice the rest of the seven day is much quieter but also much colder weekend high temperatures in the 40s with overnight lows down into the 20s.